to work today. We had thousands of people in the city of Boston knocking doors, working the polls, giving people rides to the polls, feeding the poll workers. We even had the President of the United States of America, Bill Clinton, in West Rockford today. And I keep watching that TV because I want that little yellow check mark next to our name in Massachusetts. But I can tell you, when that happens, it's because of Boston. We won by 20,000 votes today. I was, talking, I was talking to the secretary yesterday, and we were waiting to go out on stage, and she was talking, she turned to me and she said, what's been going on in Boston is unbelievable. She said, all the people who went up to New Hampshire every single weekend, including the weekend before Christmas, I knew about that. I knew the work they did. I knew the doors they knocked. And then in Massachusetts, and over the last three weeks, she goes, I know that you've been making phone calls every single night. You've been knocking doors every single day. She says, I don't know how to thank you. And I said, just win, Hillary, just win the election. And today, when I had a chance to talk to President Clinton, he said, there is no place in America like Boston with the organization that we have on the ground. And I said, thank you very much. And that wasn't me. That was all of you for being on the ground for our candidates. We can feel good tonight. And we can feel good as we do very well tonight, Super Tuesday, on our way to the nomination. But we have a lot of work to do. Because when you look at the results around the country and you see what's happening on the Republican side, it's pretty scary that right now it looks like they're going to appoint a person to be their nominee who is anti-immigrant, anti-woman, anti-child, anti-America. That's not what we need as a president of the United States of America. We need somebody that has a record, that knows how to do things, knows what about foreign policy, is about building relationships, not by building walls. It's important that we have somebody that understands the importance of preschool, early education, something we need here in Boston, in the United States of America. Let's make sure that we have somebody that believes in a woman's right. That's something that people have fought for and died for. We can't have somebody tear that down. We need to make sure that we continue to take from tonight through November, working every single day to reach out to make sure we get all the voters on the other side to realize how important it is. That's right. How important this election is. This election is the most important election of our lifetime. We hear that every four years because every four years it is. It's about the direction, which direction the country's going to go. And I certainly know where I want it to go because there's a lot of criticism about our president. But let me ask you this question. Are you better off today than you were seven years ago? And the answer is absolutely yes. There is no question about it. I just want to I just want to thank everybody for anything you did today and make sure that you go out and you talk to your friends and thank them as well and make sure that you go out tomorrow and your friends that went for Bernie Sanders even though we're still going on in the primary make sure you reach out to them because after this primary season's over we need to be one party we need to speak in one voice and the hate and the name calling and the embarrassment that the other side is doing every single day in their primary is not happening on our side because Democrats want to move our country forward and these other guys want to take our country backward.